Hello wonderful viewers, I greet all of you and I believe that you're all doing very well. And once again, I want to say a very big thank you that you have already subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate that, okay? And today we're going to learn how to do the shoulder drop blouse. Shoulder drop blouse. And these are the materials and tools that you need for the tutorial. You need your basic block, okay? And please, if you don't know how the basic block or you don't know how to draft the basic block, when you check my first video, I taught you how to draft the basic block step by step. You need a fashion fabric as well, and then the hoodie and tape. You need a paper cutting scissors, the fabric cutting scissors, pencil. You need a tape measure, your ruler, and your glass and pins. Okay, so those are the tools and materials that you need. We're going to start. So the basic block is already having two that we have the waist that and we have the bust that as well, and we have the basic neckline. But in today's tutorial. We are not going to use the basic neckline. So what we're going to do is that we're going to come down from the basic neckline. We drop it half one inch, okay, from the basic neckline. We drop it one inch to create a round neck, okay, one inch, one inch to the center front, okay, one inch. Then we use the paper cutting scissors to cut it out nicely. Right, so that is it. So this is the neckline that we're going to use for today. Now the next thing that you're going to do is that you're going to drop the shoulder. All right, these are basic shoulder lines. So we're dropping it. I'm dropping it two and a half. Okay, you can choose whether you want two, one and a half, one, but I'm dropping it two and a half. Okay, then I'll come down from here and drop it two and a half. Okay. Then I use the ruler to create a straight line here. Use the ruler to create a straight line here, as you can see. Okay, then I create a notch because I'm going to separate it from the main base, from the main block. Okay, so that is it. That's my notch. Okay, then I also need a straight green line, okay, to help me when I'm doing my layout. So I need a straight green line here. So this is my green line. Then I'll end it with an arrow, All right? So that is it. Okay, so the next thing that I will do is that I'm going to cut this one out, okay? So I'm cutting it out, you see, cut out. And then I create a notch here, All right? This is my notch, and then I create my notch here okay and the notch is there to help me after i have cut it's going to help me to join well and to join accurately that's why i need a notch okay now the next thing that i'm going to do is that i'm going to extend um, the tip of my bust start and the tip of my waist start okay i'm going to extend the tip of my bust and the tip of my waist start because I'm going to transfer both that to the side to create a fullness here, okay? All right, so here is, I'm transferring the tip of my, I'm extending the tip of my bust that and the tip of my waist that to meet, okay? So this is it, I'm, and then this one to comes here. And where the two meet, okay, it's called the apex. Where the two meet is called the apex. All right, okay. So now I'm extending from the apex. I'm squaring up from the apex. I'm squaring up, okay. From the apex, I'm squaring up. I'm transferring both the bust that and the waist that to this line. So what I'll do is I'm going to cut here. All right, 
I'll cut from this point. And I'll cut from this point as well. Okay, so I'm going to close my bars that with the hooling tip. You see, my bars that has been transferred here already. You can see, let me turn it to all so they see. See my bars that I'm closing my bars that. Okay, and that's my bars that. So I'm using the hooling tip. So I've closed my bags that and now I'm closing my waist that as well. So my waist that has been transferred, both waist that and bags that has been transferred. And I'm using my hidden tip. To secure. All right, so that is it. That is it. So the next thing we're going to do is that I'm going to attach, I'm going to add up my seam allowances. Remember the basic block does not have a seam allowance. I'm going to add up my seam allowances and then we'll put it on a fashion fabric and you see the outcome. All right, so viewers, this is the work that we did right now, okay? So that's the finished work. You can see that it's the same thing that has been transferred with the broken line. The broken line is serving as a stitching line, okay? And then this is the shoulder drop you can see. I've put it on a wax spring so that when it's the stitches is done, you can see the difference well. And then you can also see the broken lines is there, indicating that allowances have been added to our basic block, okay? So this side, you can see that the broken line is doubled because there's going to be a gathering at the shoulder to create our fullness before we join it to the shoulder drop okay so i'm going to cut it out shoulder drop and this is the notch all right this is the notch that we have and this one we are cutting two we are cutting two and this is the blouse okay and this is the notch here this is the notch here okay and this one we are cutting one because it's on fold okay so that is it we are done with the cutting we're taking the pins off and then pattern off and then we're going to stitch it so that you see the outcome of the whole blouse all right viewers so this is the finished work of the shoulder drop blouse okay you can see the fullness in the form of the garden all right okay and then you can see the back as well you can see the same line is open and with our notches nicely I can see the same line open with the notches nicely. So this is the finished work of the shoulder drop blouse. And I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks so much. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay. And there are more videos that are coming. Thank you and stay blessed.